We're at Taylor Made Golf here in the Kingdom in Carlsbad, California. Tomo Bystat joining us at Tomo. You've got something that's brand new that fills a specific need. Can you mm -hmm. talk about that? Yeah, so the new product's called Gapper. Mm -hmm. um, you, you may have seen this out on tour, tour already. There's a bunch of players already uh, using it. It's, it's, it's been off to a great start. Um, it's actually three clubs uh, as a system here. And, and actually, uh, the, as the name suggests, it fills a gap in your bag, right? right? Uh, and when you think about your own golf game, you can probably think about, you know, what is your longest playable iron, right? These would be clubs that you typically, maybe a five iron, maybe a four iron. For some people it's a six iron or a seven iron. Mm -hmm. uh, these clubs are designed to fill that gap between whatever your longest playable iron is and your shortest metal wood, right? Mm -hmm. So when we look at people's bags, a lot of them use three, a lot of people have three woods, obviously. Not that many people have five woods and almost nobody has a seven or a nine wood. Yeah. So, Anymore, right, yeah. Exactly, so it's really about identifying what the gap is and then for you as a player, once you've got the yardage gap, you figure out, okay, which shape works for you, what kind of ball flight you're looking for, you know, where do you use the club? Are you using it out of the, off the tee, out of the rough, and just mostly in the fairway? Uh, and so all these three clubs give you different options. There's a, there's a gapper high, mm -hmm. there's a gapper mid, and a gapper low. And each of these clubs, again, they've served different purposes for different players, um, and through fitting, you can kind of find out which one's best for you. Yeah, Gapper High, mm -hmm. Gapper type, hybrid type club. Yeah, so the Gapper High is our, our highest launching club, and the, and the Gapper High, when you look at the sole, you're gonna say, well, it's kind of like a, a smaller, you know, rescue style club that we've done. Uh, but as soon as you turn it over, you're gonna see some really interesting differences. There's a drop crown here with a new alignment system. Uh, we've lengthened the blade a little bit versus something like an M3 rescue uh, to make it more forgiving. Um, you're gonna see a, a, a through slot pee po speed pocket on mm -hmm. the sole there, as well as adjustability. So all these clubs also have uh, this loft sleeve, so you can adjust your loft plus minus one and a half degrees. So mm -hmm. a lot of adjustability. Also the one uh, sort of calling card in all these clubs you'll see as well is this little weight uh, port at the back here. Uh, this one essentially is, is how we're controlling the CG of the clubs. Mm -hmm. uh, and the high, the CG is the lowest and the furthest back. And that's really to create that higher launch angle um, for, e you know, make it easier to get the ball up in the air. Right, that's gapper high. Here we yeah. got gapper mid too, right? Yeah, so on the mid, uh, this club is really um, kind of a, a new thing altogether for us. We have never really made any clubs like this. Uh, kind of in the address view, you'll notice that it has a little bit more heft. It's a little bigger than a typical sort of driving iron or utility mm -hmm. iron. Um, fairly generous sole width, but not as wide as a standard hybrid or a rescue. Uh, this club is really interesting because it sort of performs more like a, 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 a club that you typically would think would be like a wood style club. It launches high, it's easy to hit, easy to hit out of the rough, but again it looks more like an iron. And a lot of golfers we've, we've noticed that is they prefer to hit an iron versus a wood. If it was easier to hit. Exactly, right? especially because I think people are more confident, you know, striking down on the ball, taking right. a little bit of a divot versus trying to have a sweeping swing which can be difficult for a lot of players and so we feel like this club is going to be really versatile for a lot of golfers where it's going to be a great teeing club if you want to have you know you have that tight par four your golf club and you just want to have something in the fairway this club is going to be great for that it's also going to be great out of the fairway and the rough as well so uh, this club we, you know we're excited about the opportunity for this club especially as there's not really been anything like this out in the market before yeah and finally we have gapper low yeah, the gapper low, this is the one that you're gonna see uh, in a lot of tour players' bags. The other two, you will see them as well, but these are, this is one is gonna be probably the favorite among the tour players. And that's really because this is more of a driving iron type of club. Mm -hmm. uh, we designed this club to be really versatile off the tee, still plenty forgiving too. So be, we know that as you get into these longer irons, players of any level are looking for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. um, even the Dustin Johnsons, the, the Rory McIlroys, and, and Jason Days, they're all always looking for distance and more forgiveness in this kind of club, but they're, they're expecting a little bit of more of a smaller package, right? So this club is gonna have a little bit of a smaller footprint um, address view, uh, a little bit less offset, and it's gonna have a more penetrating ball flight for that reason. And the only way to know which one is right for you is to go to Worldwide Golf Shops and get fit. And right? get fit, exactly. Uh, Again, you know, somebody who can take you through the different options, obviously try different shafts as well. We have a KBS hybrid shaft in this, which plays more like a steel profile. So if you're used to, if you would like to transition, you know, these gapper clubs from your iron set into a, a graphite that plays similar to your irons, this is the perfect shaft for that. We also have other shafts as well and custom as well that you'll you be able to purchase uh, there that play more like traditional hybrid shafts, a little softer in the tip, launch a little higher. Yeah, it's yeah. gapper, it's all new, it's from TaylorMade. Make sure to get to your worldwide golf shop's retail location and find out which one is right for you.